Calm down. Gentlemen, times are changing, you know. Mm. And that change is called God taking us up higher. Higher. Now look, you two, this is a conversation between men, and I thought you two liked to listen. Well, listen when you start saying something good. Dee, please continue. Well, to make a long story short, the board is going to remove the pastor next week, mm. and then I'll be installed as pastor. Congratulations, you're gonna make a great pastor. And I think you'll make a great head deacon too. Maybe in a year or two, maybe assistant pastor. We need to get people back in church that's gonna restore the traditions of the church. Wow, now that's what I'm talking about. How about you come by after the pastor leaves, meet with the other deacons? You can count on it. I'm excited about this. Man, things are finally looking up. Yeah, good, man. I'm excited, too. Uh, well, look, I got to run. I'll see you next week. All right, Pastor. Oh, I like the sound of that, man. The sound of that. Wow, let me put that in my calendar. That sounds great. Uh, next week. Let's see. Deacon Raglan, yeah. we didn't know you were here. I'm glad I was because what I heard certainly didn't set well with my spirit, and I am sorely disappointed. Not as disappointed as I am. I'm beyond disappointed. I'm ashamed, ashamed of my own father. Who do you think you're talking to, young lady? I'm your father, and the Bible says that you are to honor your father. Oh, we want to use the Bible when it fits our needs. Well, what about the part that says, honor those who are in authority over you? Elena. I am as upset as you are, but he's still your father. But he wants to throw away Jeremiah's house so he can shine. Shine? Young lady, let me tell you something. You Okay, everybody, let's just calm down. Dad, do I have to remind you that that could have been me in that sex trade? Me, your own flesh and blood, just gone. What do you mean, it could have been you? Now that's a long story, but the Lord was about to use it for his good. And when everything, and you just want to run off and get a title for yourself. A title? Do you know how hateful that sounds, Elena? Well, Lamar, sometimes even when someone says something hateful and even unkind, doesn't mean it's not true. Are you running? Are you running away after the old wine, the taste of the new? And are you running away from the Spirit of God to walk after the traditions of men? Are you deacon, which means servant? Okay, I'm back. So how's Maddie? Sicker than a dog. Honestly, I can't remember that girl ever having the flu. But... At least she agreed to stay here so I could look after her, and I'm grateful for that. I'm also grateful that you were willing to come here so I could look after her. Thanks. Okay, where were we? Yeah, uh, transfiguration. Okay. The professor at the college, he said that we could pick any scripture that we like. Mm -hmm. And that one on the transfiguration mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. Mine too. You know what? What? I think I'll write a song about it. You're kidding. Have you ever written anything before? Yeah. Now, worship and writing, those two are my first loves. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Well, I guarantee you that's a talent we'll be using around the church. <laughs> but right now, we got to get back to preparing you for your yeah. class tomorrow. Okay. So, you were in the Matthew account. Mm -hmm. Okay, read me the first two verses. Okay. And it reads, and after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Ooh, ooh. Every time ooh. I hear that, oh, glory. Okay, so you went to the concordance. Mm -hmm and you looked up transfigured. Yes. And you found that in the Greek, the word is metamorpho. 
meta to change the condition, morpho to form. Mm -hmm. So it means to change the form of something. Metamorphosis, the butterfly. Mm -hmm. So what Jesus did is change the condition of his form from the earthly to the heavenly, from the natural to the supernatural. Ooh, preach girl. <laughs> hey, that'll put a jerk in you, won't it? In a heartbeat. Wow. Glory bumps from the top of your head to the tip of your tootsies. Please put the tootsie fish away. If you <sighs> insist. Okay, but this is what really gets me excited. Go back to the concordance. Mm -hmm. Look at transfigured again. Now, do you see any place where the word transfigured appears any place else in scripture outside of the two um, places that we refer to as the transfiguration? Does it appear any place else? No. And you're right. Unless you look up the word metamorpho, then it does appear elsewhere. Okay, so where? Let's try Romans 12 too. Look it up. Okay. And this is why I love digging, digging, looking up these words in the original language because they just explode the meaning of a scripture. Okay, so, uh, so Romans 12 too, right? Mm -hmm. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove, which means to test or discern, what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. But that word be transformed is metamorpho, be transfigured. Mm. Hmm. So let's translate this a different way. Be ye transfigured by the renewing of your mind. Go from the earthly, to the heavenly, from the natural to the supernatural, by the renewing of the mind, and that's how you know the perfect will of God. Wow, wow, wow. Is that awesome? Yeah, you think? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You guess it's Mabel Green. Oh. Hello. No speaking English. No, no, so sorry. She dead. She no more. Maybe you are not going to hang up that phone, are you? Really? Well, congratulations. Have they found a replacement? Okay. Well, listen, just to show you there are no hard feelings, how about if I take you out to lunch Friday? Yeah, I like that place. Noon? Great. Okay, see you then. Bye. Well, that sounded like good news. Ooh, they just promoted Mabel Green. Could get somebody to take her place. Wow. Oh. Oh, I feel it coming. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I feel it coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's here. Yeah, it's a happy dance time before the Lord, before the Lord, before the Lord. It's a happy dance time before well, I tell you one thing, you don't have a lick of rhythm. I know I don't, but I'm telling you I'm happy. Yeah, it's a happy dance time before the Lord, before the knock, Lord, knock. before the Lord. It's a happy dance time before pastor, the Lord. Pastor, pastor, huh? you mm -hmm. won't believe this. What? Mm -hmm. the happy Deacon dance. Hall is leaving. <laughs>